Hello everyone, my name is Rachel Wilson, the person behind the character Freckled Zelda, and I'm here to publicly defend myself against the false groomer accusations and false claims. The situation has escalated to affecting my family, my friends, and my career. I'm here to clear my name and talk about the logical facts and evidence. This screenshot from a group chat was edited and blurred to make me look like I don't have clothes on. January 2023, I wore a pink bunny girl cosplay to an anime convention and I shared the photos of my new cosplay to this group chat. These are the original photos, a back picture of the bunny cosplay and a front picture of the cosplay with a cat sleeping on my lap. This is my pet cat, Basil. The narrative told was I explicitly sent pictures to a 15 year old when I only shared cosplay pics to a group chat of five girls, including me. This group group chat included three girls my same age that were my close friends at the time and a 15 year old girl I was not close with. I did not make this group chat called Turkey Cemetery and the group chat was not my idea. You see bunny girl cosplays at comic cons and worn outside in public. I believe these pictures are tame compared to more revealing pictures from other girls in the community. Maddie and Ami doctored photos of me to look like I don't have clothes on. That is defamation of character. These people did not communicate about these group chat issues before they went public. All screenshots were taken completely out of context. Under the video, someone asked Maddie, show unblurred proof. Maddie's response was, I'm not posting photos like that of her because I know she wouldn't want them out there and I have basic human decency. Basic human decency, Maddie? You and Ami knew I was in a pink bunny girl cosplay with my pet cat and you blurred the photos. People have been asking for the leaked nudes online. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but they do not exist. Someone else commented on the video, where is the proof of the 15 year old girl? Cause there is an actual proof that who she sent the message to was 15. Maddie's response was because I was in the group chat and I know the 15 year old personally. Then they responded back, but there isn't any evidence anyone could say that. I agree, there is no logical facts or evidence because all the screenshots were edited and fabricated. Out of respect for this 15 year old, her name will stay anonymous considering Ami and Maddie are only using her as a prop to frame me for grooming. I never sent anything privately to this 15 year old. I was not close with this person. I have no interest in minors. This is just a group chat between five girls. And what do friends do in a group chat? They joke around and act silly. I believe the situation could have been handled privately and maturely, but these people felt the need to publicly humiliate me and destroy my brand. I am sorry to the people who took these screenshots out of context, but these grooming allegations will not be taken lightly. I would like to address the stolen artwork accusations. My ex-boyfriend claims I stole artwork from him. In 2022, he drew fan art of me for a song release and gave me permission to sell the artwork. We had a verbal contract between us. The agreement was I pay him $50 for the commission to own the artwork. Here's a receipt of me sending him $50 through PayPal and me receiving the commission as a transaction in 2022. He also gave me permission to sell the artwork over text. I messaged him. I remember you gave me the price of $50 for the song cover. That's a pretty decent price. But then again, all the coloring, shading and stuff, that should be extra. His response was, yeah, and I still feel bad about it. The context of that response is he felt like the price of $50 was too high to charge me when we were together. I messaged him, I make bulk of the artwork prints and sign and sell them for autographs at conventions and I could say I bought the art from you so I could do whatever I want with it. He responded, that's true, it's yours to sell now. My ex-boyfriend and I had a really bad falling out in February 2023. This led us to cutting ties, but this is confirmation I own the artwork and I have permission to sell it. That's just business. I am not racist. I do not discriminate. I love all people of color, nationalities, and ethnicities. My best friend Josh, also known as Jolly Boy Josh, is a person of color and my workout partner. He has been shown in multiple videos of mine and handles me at Comic Cons. Yeah. Next, I wanna address the Zionist accusation. I am not a Zionist. I am only a fan of the popular voice actress, Tara Strong. My content has never been about politics. I was unaware of people calling her a Zionist until I posted a video of us together. But this accusation is not true. I am not ableist. I have disabled loved ones like my childhood best friend Angelina. She is diagnosed with EDS and POTS, hypermobile and vascular Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, and postular orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. She has been my family friend for over 13 years. To this day, we still constantly hang out and go to church together. I was a disabled kid in elementary school. I used a wheelchair and crutches while fighting a rare knee disease called osteochondritis desiccin throughout elementary school. I am not homophobic or transphobic. I have LBGTQ plus friends and loved ones. And as a person, I love all people. I also respect all religions. And I believe having personal faith is a beautiful thing. I tried my best to reconcile and make amends with these people, but they felt like it was necessary to go public and slander me with false allegations. 
early 2023, the falling out with Ami and Maddie and my first breakup with my boyfriend was the lowest time in my life. That's when God put it on my heart to get baptized. September 2023, I gave my life to Jesus. I'd like to share my testimony. I'm very grateful and blessed to have an incredible supportive family. I'm also very grateful to my best friend, Angelina, who's always been there for me, and she's also got me closer to God. I feel closest to Jesus through music and prayer. I've always known I was going to be a performer. And since I was very young, I want to uplift God with my talents, praising Him through the gifts He's blessed me with. I struggled a lot with different relationships, but God has got me through it all. I choose to love everyone. And when I choose, and when I choose forgiveness and gratitude over anger and resentment, I feel the most at peace. I feel like knowing God is the ultimate happiness. As a kid-friendly content creator, I believe it's my moral responsibility to post clean content. I've stated my values before. I do not drink, smoke, do drugs, curse, and I'm also saving myself from marriage. I understand my life will never be the same from the situation. I put my faith in Jesus and I am confident in God's plan for my life. Thank you to my supporters, my friends and family who have been there for me through this tough situation. God bless you all.